Do the characters of your story fit neatly, nicely into a classic archetypal role, or is it a bit more complicated? In Dark Places, Gillian Flynn's second book, readers are introduced to Libby Day. Libby is far from a hero. She's lazy, rude, a kleptomaniac. She also happens to be a survivor of a family tragedy. Her mother and two sisters were brutally murdered when she was a child, and her older brother is serving life in prison for those murders. Libby isn't trying to change the world. She's just trying to earn enough money to avoid getting a real job when she agrees to meet with a group of true crime fanatics hungry for details about her terrible past. I am a liar and a thief. Don't let me into your house. And if you do, don't leave me alone. I take things. You can catch me with your string of fine pearls clickering in my greedy little paws. And I'll tell you, they reminded me of my mother's and I just had to touch them just for a second. And I'm so sorry, I don't know what came over me. My mom never owned any jewelry that didn't turn her skin green, but you won't know that. And I'll still swipe the pearls when you're not looking. I steal underpants, rings, CDs, books, shoes, iPods, watches. I'll go to a party at someone's house. I don't have friends, but I have people who invite me places and I'll leave wearing a few shirts under my sweater with a couple of nice lipsticks in my pocket and whatever cash is floating inside a purse or two. Just sling it over a shoulder and leave. Prescription pills, perfume, buttons, pens, food. I have a flask someone's granddad carried back from World War II. I own a Phi Beta Kappa pen earned by some guy's favorite uncle. I have an antique collapsible tin cup that I can't remember stealing. I've had it so long, I pretend it's always been in the family. The actual stuff my family owned, those boxes under my stairs, I can't quite bear to look at. I like other people's things better. They come with other people's history. Libby is an orphan when this story begins, a rather flawed adult orphan. But over the course of the action of Dark Places, she will be forced to play many other roles too. Investigator, explorer, and anti-hero. As she begins to question the narrative of her past. Great characters aren't neat and tidy, fitting perfectly into the boxes around them. They're messy. But when written well, they are effective at doing their job, no matter what they look like when they first show up on the page.